Hey, it's the Empire, Geoboxing Empire, Backstone Boxing. Now, man, my boy, <laughs> Keith, one time Thurman, man, he has some interesting words to say about my boy, L. Spence Jr. Now, Keith Thurman has been uh, MIA since his Manny Pacquiao performance, which was a competitive fight in the later half of the fight. Pacquiao dominated the first half of the fight, but you know, uh, the ring rust it seemed like the ring rust off of keith thurman was coming off later half the fight and keith thurman was figuring out pacquiao later in the fight but the time ran out in the guy and he lost in the scorecards now man that being said man you know keith thurman is the former wba champion former wbc champion you know he was unified at one point and you know people forget about keith thurman's vast deep resume and not only that, he the guy is a really good boxing analyst. Now, Keith Thurman breaks down the whole Sean Porter, Keith, uh, Sean Porter, Earl Spence fight, and he basically said Sean Porter was doing really good work in that fight, and that Porter neutralized Spence's jab, right? And I'm gonna get some quotes for you guys. He says uh, his jab got neutralized. I think it's one of Earl Spence's strong suits. Thurman continued with his critique of Spence's win over Porter. But a lot of fighters do stand up straight in front of Earl, and when you do that, let him poke you with that stiff arm jab of his. It sets up that left hook to the body and a left uppercut to the solar plexus. So, you know, basically, you know, Keith Thurman's picking apart Errol Spence's weaknesses to exploit him, because we all know that Errol Spence Jr. versus Keith Thurman is a fight we all wanted to see. And, you know, Keith Thurman really goes deep into Errol Spence's weaknesses and flaws of if you get past his jab, you know, he basically, Errol Spence at that point is at war with you. You know, he's fighting inside, he's throwing body shots, he's throwing head shots, uh, hooks to the top. It's a war. When you get past someone's jab, it's all hooks and uppercuts at that point, right? And he said Sean Porter did a good job of that. He neutralized the jab by getting really close to him. And that being said, you know, Keith Thurman, he doesn't fight like Sean Porter. Sean Porter has a unique style that's unique to the division. And not only that, he's, he's the best at doing it. Right, he's the best in getting in the inside of a, of a strong opponent and pushing the pace. He did it to every single uh, fighter he fought. He did it to Keith Thurman himself, right? Pushed the pace and inside, took his job away. And he did it to Errol Spence too. Pushed him inside, took his job away. But that being said, man, that's not Keith Thurman's style. Keith Thurman's a, a boxer on the outside and he leaps him with power shots. And for Keith Thurman to expose uh, weaknesses of Errol Spence Jr. and, you know, is he gonna uh, is he gonna go for a Sean Porter type style? And if he does, man, this whole aggressive style, not not stop throwing punches, this is reminiscent of Hagler versus Hearns. It's reminiscent. You have a softball who's strong, who comes forward just like Hagler, phenomenal body shots, right? Great chin, A plus level chin, coming forward, and you got athletic fighter who's really good on the outside, like a, a Keith Thurman. You know, uh, comparable to uh, to Hitman Hearns, at least is comparable in, in, in this uh, era of boxing. And this is going to have to be a war for Keith Thurman to implement this style. He's going to have to come in with power punches. You know, uh, that being said, you know, there's another fight that Errol Sp uh, that Keith Thurman did not talk about uh, that exposed Errol Spence Jr. in the inside. And that was the Errol Spence Jr. versus Carol Brook fight. The Carol Brook is not an inside fighter. He actually reminds me of a Keith Thurman. You know, the guy is mostly boxing you on the outside and he leaps him with power shots, right? That being said, you know, uh, Keith Keith Thurman, if he would have recognized it, uh, would know that K Kel Brook showed a lot of... It was effective. When, when Kel Brook went inside on Errol Spence, it was very effective. At one point in a fight, uh, Kel Brook was so aggressive he came in and inside of Errol Spence. He didn't even really land the punch, but he knocked him off balance and uh, Errol Spence Jr. almost fell on the ground, <laughs> you know? So that being said, it's probably a really good idea to be really aggressive on Errol Spence Jr. with leading with leading power shots. And, Errol, and uh, Keith, I mean, uh, Kara Brook wasn't that good at doing it, right? I actually think that Keith Thurman's actually better at leaping with power shots than uh, Kara Brook. So that being said, man, you know, Kara Brook has been eyeing Errol Spence for years. Right, he's been eyeing him for years. That, that fight has been talked about for so long. And now I think that Keith Thurman, he sees enough weaknesses in Errol Spence's game to challenge him now. He's breaking fights down. And I think he'll be a really great commentator. People don't know 
how deep this guy's knowledge in boxing is it's very very deep right um understand that when he when he when keith Thurman was training he was training with winky Wright, you know a, a master class boxer so you know i'm really excited to hear that care brook i'm sorry keith thurman is talking about going for broke in his earl spence jr fight he's talking about getting past the jab and fighting him in the inside and this is going to be basically an incredible fight it's going to be an incredible fight because you know will keith thurman implement it we don't know uh is it his best chance to win i think it's his best chance to win um you know one thing that keith thurman is really good at is explosion he's really good at setting punches off and being super aggressive and he's being quicker than his opponents he, he, he his counter punches are quicker than errol spence's in my opinion errol spence what makes him so dangerous though is you know he throws wicked body shots and he throws head shots his offense is multi-dimensional right he's really good at throwing body shots and head shots with keith thurman not so much he throws good body shots but they're few and far between errol spence jr that's his bread and butter so this would be a really good fight i'd be really excited to see it man but yeah man keith thurman talk about going for broke and this uh if he ever fights Errol Spence Jr., he talks about his weaknesses. And, you know, in my opinion, that's his only way to win the fight. He's talking about people who expose Errol Spence Jr. And the only way they expose him is being super aggressive. So that's the game plan that Keith Thurman is going to use. It's going to be a Hagler Hearns type fight. And I'd be really excited to see that fight. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobox Empire, bitch.